bleeding changes on contraceptives. Bleeding changes are common and normal with modern contraceptive methods, including unpredictable bleeding, more bleeding, or less bleeding, and no bleeding at all. This video will tell about common bleeding changes while using hormonal contraceptives and the copper IUD. Women often have concerns about how their bleeding patterns may change when using contraceptives. Counseling them about what to expect helps women choose a contraceptive method that is acceptable to them. They will also be more likely to continue the method. Let's see what normally happens inside a woman's body. Each month, soon after a woman's monthly bleeding, her body prepares itself for starting a pregnancy. This is her fertile time. If she has sex with a man, millions of sperm swim up in search of an egg. In the middle of a woman's cycle, an egg is released from an ovary and travels through the tube towards the uterus. The lining inside the uterus starts to grow to nourish a possible pregnancy. If a sperm joins the egg, a pregnancy can start. If a sperm does not join the egg, the egg is reabsorbed by the body. Now, the woman is no longer fertile. Two weeks later, since the lining in the uterus is not needed for a pregnancy, the woman has her monthly bleeding. In order to prevent pregnancy, hormonal contraceptive methods can cause several changes in this cycle. First, ovulation can stop, so then no egg is released from the ovaries. Then, the mucus in the cervix becomes thick, which can prevent sperm from reaching the uterus and fertilizing an egg. And last, the lining of the uterus becomes thin, making it difficult to support a pregnancy. Women in their fertile years normally release an egg once a month and have a regular cycle of monthly bleeding, though the flow and pattern is unique from one woman to another. When she uses most hormonal contraceptives, she no longer has a predictable monthly bleeding cycle because she stops ovulating and her uterine lining does not build up. While many women feel more comfortable having a monthly bleeding, if there is no uterine lining to shed, it's not necessary for her health to have a period of bleeding each month. Women starting hormonal contraceptives such as the implant, the injection, the hormonal IUD, and the mini pill often have unpredictable bleeding during the first few months. After that, bleeding becomes less frequent and lighter. It is common for the lining in the uterus to become so thin that many women only have spotting. Spotting is very light occasional bleeding, often pink or brown, that may not even stain the underwear. Eventually, many women have no bleeding at all. This is safe and normal. Blood is not building up in the body. Once a woman stops using a hormonal method, her ability to get pregnant and her normal monthly bleeding pattern will return to what they were before she used the method. Every woman's experience will be different, but there are bleeding changes that are common to each method. The bleeding changes often improve over time as a woman's body adjusts. Let's see the common bleeding patterns with several contraceptive methods over the first year of use. The implant. Most women have irregular bleeding that can be heavy in the first few months. Bleeding usually becomes lighter and less frequent. It's common in time 
to have no bleeding at all. The hormonal IUD. Most women have irregular bleeding and spotting at first. That becomes lighter and less frequent and over time, it's common to have no bleeding at all. The injection. It's common for women to have irregular bleeding that can be heavy at first. Irregular bleeding usually becomes lighter and less frequent. Eventually, many women have only spotting or have no bleeding at all. The mini pill. It's common for women to have spotting, especially if she is late taking a pill. Or they may have prolonged irregular bleeding. Over time, women commonly have shorter, lighter irregular bleeding and spotting, and possibly no bleeding at all. Women who breastfeed will typically have no bleeding while using the mini pill. Copper IUD. The copper IUD has no hormones, so women will have a normal monthly bleeding cycle. In the first three to six months, it's common for her monthly bleeding to be heavier, last longer, with more cramping. Some women also have irregular spotting. The bleeding changes usually get better over time and most women will return to their normal pattern within the first year of use. The contraceptive pill. Women have a regular monthly bleeding cycle caused by the decrease in hormones during the week she is taking the inactive, non-hormone pills. In the first few months, it's common for women to have shorter, lighter monthly bleeding and occasional spotting especially if she is late taking a pill. Over time, her monthly bleeding often becomes lighter and shorter, and some women may eventually have no monthly bleeding at all. Talk to women about the bleeding changes to expect on their contraceptive method. Reassure them that bleeding usually gets lighter and less frequent over three to six months. The changes can be annoying, but they are safe and normal, and they don't make the contraceptive method less effective. Sometimes, bleeding can be heavy and prolonged with cramping, especially at first with the copper IUD. A woman may take ibuprofen or diclofenac for five days at the start of bleeding each month. If she has heavy bleeding on the implant or the injection, she can also take one course of estrogen daily for 21 days at the beginning of the bleeding. It's common for women on hormonal methods to eventually have no bleeding at all. This is normal, expected and safe. Blood is not building up in her body. Many women are happy to be free of periodic bleeding and it may prevent anemia. If she is using a hormonal method correctly and consistently, absence of bleeding does not mean she is pregnant. However, if she notices symptoms of pregnancy, such as breast tenderness, nausea, or fatigue, she should check for pregnancy. Once a woman stops her contraceptive, her monthly bleeding pattern will return to normal as will her ability to get pregnant. Remember, bleeding changes with contraceptive methods are normal and not harmful. They commonly get better over the first three to six months as the woman's body adjusts. Having no bleeding at all is also normal and safe. Blood is not building up in the body.